Hi guys! Today we're going to do another fashion DIY, my favourite kind of video. Um, firstly, do you guys, do we think we like this MAC red lipstick on me or not too sure? Guys comment below because I need your help. Um, anyway, moving on to our fashion DIY today. I've been very imaginative today, even if I do say so for myself. Um, firstly, do you guys shop at American Apparel? Um, I know there's not loads of them around, but um, there's one near to me on Oxford Circus, and they do have a, um, a pretty good website as well. Um, I actually don't shop there myself. I do sometimes pop in to see what they're selling, um, but I always walk out pretty much empty-handed. Um, however, the other day I was on their website, and I saw one of their popular um, selling items is their leather pouches. They are beautiful, like they've got them in all different colours and sizes and they're absolutely stunning. However, as you can see from all these leather pouches and all the different colours and everything that they've got, they are still very expensive. Now they are leather so obviously they are going to be a little bit more expensive but I just feel they're, like they're a little bit overpriced um, and you know what, great if you can afford it but I can't. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make my own version and how am I going to do this without spending lots and lots of money on them so I ended up making these two pouches I'm going to show you in a second how I made them so this is a larger one it's got all my um, hair products in it it's got a red zip and here's a smaller one I made and this has got all my makeup bits in it so all my makeup brushes and things for um, just when I can chuck in my bag so there's this one and this one. So I've made two. Now, what item of clothing do you think I used to make them from? Can you guess? Well, here you go. This is what I used. There's a pair of old vintage leather trousers which I picked up from eBay for one pound. And I thought that was genius of me, actually. Well, what it was, um, I, you know, I looked around in haberdasheries and the fabric stores, and leather's really expensive. And I just thought, you know what, it's a little bit too much. I don't want to spend that much money. Um, and zips aren't very cheap either. But you know what, I have to buy the zips. Um, and I looked on eBay, and I started bidding on different items of leather clothing, like where there's a lot of leather fabric, such as trousers, um, long jackets. Um, and I just bid, like, sort of very low bid prices, like one, two pounds because normally the postage is a little bit more expensive because it's heavy so I managed to pick these up for one pound and the postage was three pounds so all in all I got them for four pounds this is what remains though from them not a lot as you can see I've even taken the zip out because I used that zip for this the little pouch that I made so um, I've utilized as much of those trousers as I can now with the pouches you can make them any size it just depends on what zip size you've got so something smaller like this is like sort of 8 10 to 12 inches long or then you've got something a bit bigger like this which is like 16 18 20 inches so depending on how big you know even if you want to make them even bigger you can pick up zips that are sort of 26 inches like it just depends how much material you've got and what size what size you want to make your pouch now, the way you make it, it's really simple, really, really simple. You will need a sewing machine though, unless you want to spend a lot of time hand sewing, which will take you a lot of time. And because the leather's quite thick, it might be a bit difficult to do. Um, so you, you purchase your zip. So I've got a zip here, which um, I got for about £1.50 um, in Loughborough Market. <laughs> um, and it was about £1.50. And this zip, I think, is 14 inches. So what I've done... I'm going to just show you. I'm not going to show you on my sewing machine and everything because it's a little bit hard to film and, and you know, it's a little bit boring for you guys to watch as well. So I'm just going to tell you how I did it. What you do, you cut two pieces of fabric the same size, obviously the same width as your zip. So your zip obviously is going to fit onto the top like so. So two panels of fabric. All you do is you double over here on the top like that and you sew that onto the side of your zip on one side. Then with the other side you do the same and sew it onto the other side of the zip. So then you will end up with something like so. I'm going to try and show you. So your zip will be in the middle there and you'll have fabric on this side and on this side like so. But you know always make sure you fold over here you don't want to just do it like that with a frayed seam so like that then you turn it inside out and all you do is sew down 
here as close to the edge as you can so down the sides down the all down the bottom and then down the other side open the zip up turn it inside out and then you end up with this really simple it took me literally 10 minutes to do cutting the fabric actually took me longer but doing the sewing part took me like 10 15 minutes really really quick so you'll end up with really gorgeous pouches i've had so many compliments on them anyone that's seen them is like where the hell did you get them from and i'm like well i actually made them <laughs> So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed my quick DIY fashion video. If you want to know more about the sewing part, do comment below and I will send you a more thorough email with even pictures if you like on how I did it. But it just shows. Be imaginative. You can make things for so cheap. you just got to think outside the box. You know, with material, you can always either reuse material that you have, like old clothes, or buy cheap material on eBay. And it doesn't have to be just pure material. You can buy clothes and obviously transform them into something different. So I just want to inspire you to do different you know give you some ideas and maybe you can you know make something similar to what I've made and if you do make sure you post below because I want to see what you made um, but don't worry if it's not perfect like mine are not perfect I'm not perfect on the sewing machine either like you know what I'm still a big amateur when it comes to the sewing machine but you know what these pur purses and pouches they're just perfect you could use them for anything makeup money um, you know just bits and bobs of storage in your um, house is they're just really really useful so um, guys I hope you've enjoyed my video today and um, lots of kisses to you guys and I'll see you guys next time lots of love bye bye